Hey guys, I know I promised you in the last video that in this video we are going to proceed with the design of the admin section but after going through our project I have seen a few uh, issues that need to be straightened out before we proceed. The first issue is with the navigation bar, the responsiveness of the navigation bar. Just observe the navigation bar as I reduce the width of the screen. When I am almost at the point where the navigation bar breaks to be replaced by the navigation menu, you are going to notice a slight glitch on the navigation bar. And this is it. So the navigation bar goes off for a bit before, before finally taking its rightful place and being replaced by the navigation, the menu icon. So users with screen sizes exactly like this who are all probably be viewing a website in this in this format in this form which is not really good because they will probably not be able to tell that a navigation menu exists and there is no icon for them to click and expand it. So now the issue is uh, in our CSS the point at which we break to replace the navigation menu with the menu icon is a bit smaller the width is a bit smaller than it needed to be so we should have created a breaking point when the application when the width of the browser was somewhere around here so that we don't get to experience this glitch here so some of you might already guess the solution to this and that is simply to add the width of the of the media query that breaks off so that it breaks off when the screen is a bit slightly larger than it currently is so now this breaking point appears inside it happens inside the the media query with width of 750 pixels so if you want to get rid of that glitch of that problem on an interface we can just add the width by about 20 pixels so we just make it 770 pixels and save then back on our interface let me move it to the glitch to the to the issue okay so as it is now the screen the width of our screen now is probably like 760 or 770 so if we refresh the screen at this point because that width falls within the range of 0 to 770 pixels you can see now that the navigation menu becomes replaced by the menu icon and we no longer have the glitch so this is the first issue we have, we have fixed now the second issue is with the horizontal slider if you observe the slider as I reduce the screen to about the smallest size possible you're going to notice that the next and the previous icons on the horizontal slider are almost merged with the image itself and it becomes difficult for the user to even navigate the horizontal slider and this is poor user experience. Now what you want to do is you want to move these icons a bit to the, to the corners like move them a bit to the edge of the browser. Uh, so what we need to do is for screen sizes as small as this we need to select the uh, uh, CSS styles for the next and the previous icon and increase their, their distance from the post itself. So back in our CSS we should scroll to the post slider section, the section where we wrote the styles for the post slider that is immediately after the header section immediately after the header section we see the post slider section and then we will see the, design, the CSS selectors for the next and the previous buttons so let's just copy those okay now having copied them let's scroll to the smallest uh, media query available and that is the 600 pixels and we want to when the device viewing our website is at this width we want to change the right and the left properties and give it a smaller distance from the edge of the browser so we are going to take out everything else because it remains the same 
and then we are left with only the left and the right properties and these properties position the previous and the next button at 30 pixels from the left and the right respectively and what we want to do is we want to reduce that distance and let's just change it to 10 pixels and then back on our browser when we refresh it now you're going to see that the icons have been moved a bit to the edge of the browser and it becomes easier for the user to navigate the horizontal slider so this is it about the second issue on our responsive design now the third issue is with our single post page and it requires some attention to detail to be able to spot it remember that the single post page looks a bit similar to the to the index page similar in that we also have a main content section and a sidebar so when we did the responsive design for the single post for the index section sorry when we did this the design for that section uh, some of it just automatically applied to this section which is why you also see the navigation sorry the sidebar breaking and aligning itself under the post content section now the issue with this section first of all the obvious one is the padding around the text is a bit too much it's too wide for screens of this size and then secondly when you scroll to the bottom you're going to notice that there is a bit of a margin a gray margin between the white sections of the sidebar and the, the end of the screen of the browser itself but when you scroll up here in the main the post content section you don't see that margin and this inconsistency is not is not the best it's not good it's not good design so let's change that so here are the two changes we are making on this page first we are reducing the padding of the text and second we are adding some margin in the post content section and the way we are going to add this margin is we are going to wrap the main content section around a div so let me minimize the main content section it starts here and ends here of course there is some code in between so what we are going to do is going to create a div with a class of main upper and we are not going to add any other code other than this div we're not going to add any other html code than this div so let me just say main content wrapper so it wraps the main content and remember the main content is this upper part here where we display the actual post content so what we are going to do is we are going to grab this uh, the CSS property for the main content wrapper and then we'll go in our style.css file and inside the second media query we are going to we are going to paste select this uh, element and then we'll give a padding of about 10 pixels around it this is the same padding we have in the side uh, side the sidebar so when we go back to our code we refresh this you're going to notice the margin we have now on both sides of our main content section so when you come down you scroll down you notice that the the margin we have around the sidebar is the same size as the margin we have around the main content section and now let's move to the issue with the very large padding now this is the single post page and we have written a CSS selector for single post content if you scroll to the section where we have written the CSS to the content you're going to see a selected property for the, sing the main content of the single page remember we added a single class to we added a single class to the main content element so you are going to select this we scroll down to the media queries and in the second the very last media query that is on smaller screens the very last media query the 600 pixels media query 
we are going to paste this and of course the only change you want to make is on the padding so we are going to take out everything else and for the padding we are going to give it a padding at the top of 10 pixels and to the side 20 pixels we save this and back on our browser we refresh and uh, it looks good now the padding is not too much just enough on point and with that we are done with the design the responsive design for our single that HTML page so now we move on to the very last aspect of this these changes and that is the login and the sign up pages now if you reduce this screen you will see that it has its own issues it has a fixed width uh, not fixed width but a bit too too small for when you when you view it on very small screen sizes so it doesn't make sense to have a login page or a sign up page this small so what we want to do is we want to select these pages and then we increase the width of the forms as we go to uh, screen sizes screens of lower sizes and this one is pretty simple you only have the earth content which wraps uh, which wraps the form this is the earth content so if we increase the width of the earth content we are actually increasing the width of the form and we are going to do this for every single one of the media queries so let's start with the 934 pixels media query so the only thing we are going to be changing here is the width and for this one let's just make it uh, 40 pixels now let's say 50 pixels then we go to the next media query which is the 770, 770 pixels media query for this one we are going to give it a width of let's see 60 and lastly we have the 600 pixels media query and for this one we're going to give it a width of 90 pixels because it's almost as if it's mobile okay having saved that we go back to our browser and we refresh okay so this is the 934 pixels uh, screen size when we reduce it we get to 770 we have a width of 60 pixels and when we get to the very small one we have a width of 90 pixels which looks okay and because the auth content class is the same for the register as well as the login the register also behave like the login page which is good enough for our site and so these are all the little changes i planned on doing on the website so thanks again for your patience so now i can i'm absolute i can guarantee you that in the next video we are going to be working on the authentication sorry the admin the admin section of the website so thank you guys for following if you like the video please give it a like if you have comments drop them in the comment section below subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video